Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome back to another episode in this Puppeteer tutorial series. In this episode we will see how we can bypass Cloudflare challenge using this package called Puppeteer Real Browser and this helps prevent Puppeteer from being detected as a bot in services like Cloudflare and allows you to pass CAPTCHAs without any problems. Specifically I will show you how we can bypass this challenge right here. So you see, it, it works normally and CAPTCHA is passed successfully when testing with a normal browser. But let me go ahead and show you an example with normal Puppeteer. And you will see that it fails to bypass that CAPTCHA. So let's go ahead and create a new folder. Let's run npm init-y and install Puppeteer. Okay, let's open it in Visual Studio Code. And let's create a file. And let's create some basic Puppeteer code. And what we will do is use headless to false and basically visit that URL. And let's test it out. So right now we are using basic Puppeteer. And as you will see, we will get detected very easily. There you go. So as you saw, instead of going directly on the page, like what happens when we do it manually, it tells us that we have to solve the capture. Now, as you see, even if, if I solve the capture, I still get blocked. Let's do it again. There you go, still getting blocked. So let's see how we can bypass that now. And shout out to these guys, the contributors, for making this package. So yeah, let's test it out. So let's copy first of all this line here, npmy puppeteer real browser. I'll have the link down in the description. There you go. And let's copy the code. Let's copy this code. Put it here and get the URL. And now let's run it again. And there you go, as you saw, I had to do nothing and it worked just fine. And it's that easy. Okay, so now, even though you might not get detected because of your script, you will still get detected because you are using the same IP each time. So if you want to do a bunch of scrapping on the same website, on the same computer you are using, basically on the same internet connection, you will still get blocked. Just because you bypassed Cloudflare doesn't mean you will not get blocked if you do a bunch of requests. So in that case, you must use proxies. And when using proxies, you must use a good proxy provider. Otherwise, you are getting risk of getting detected if you are using bad proxies. So this is why I always suggest Node Maven for a proxy provider. As you will see right here, and I'll show you how to test it in a bit as well. They provide 95% of proxies with clean records. As we will see in a bit, they provide IP filtering, which means they filter the IPs before giving them to you. So you know 100% of the time, they are filtered good proxies. Now they do sponsor this video, but I'm using Node Maven personally for me and my client projects. And actually, like I have tested most of the proxy providers, the popular ones, and they don't even compare. Now to use Node Maven proxies, please use the link down in the description. And then on checkout, use the code Michael, as you will see it on the screen, and you will get an extra two gigabytes of bandwidth for free. And also I have announced it as well on my Discord channel, link down in the description. 
Node Maven is hosting a prize draw where 10 lucky winners will each receive 5 gigabytes of residential proxies. So yeah, to enter the prize draw, again, link in the description, use my link to sign up and then purchase any package. Of course, use code Michael for an extra 2 gigabytes of bandwidth. And in October 10th, the winners will get their rewards. So yeah, after you sign up, of course, you have purchased some bandwidth. Go to proxy setup here. As you will see, you can pick a country. Let's say United States. And the cool thing about this is that you can you can pick a specific region and then a city from that region. And also a specific ISP. But yeah, this is very cool, especially if you want to do targeting web scrapping on targeted locations, basically. Like, for example, scrapping results on Google Maps or on Google results or something like that. Whenever you want to do geolocation specific web scrapping, then those options are great. And also, as you'll see here on the session type, you have two options, either sticky or rotating. Now, let's see how we can test the proxies. So I'll put it back to sticky and get like 30 proxies. And I'll be using the proxy checker by pixel scan. So I'll have the link down in the description. And as you will see, all I have to do is paste the proxies here. There we go. Let's click check proxies. And there we go. This is what we are looking for. So as you will see with paid proxies, you always want the success rate to be at 100%. If it's any lower than 100%, then you are guaranteed to have a script that fails and it gets blocked basically. But for low quality IPs, as you see, we got about 85% of them high quality, which is what we want. Now you can get even better results in this by tweaking the settings here. As you see, for my example, I was using Greece and then and then I was using a specific ISP. But if you tweak those settings, maybe you, you use United States, you will get even better results. But as you see, it's already very good results. We go, we, this is what we want, basically risk score to be at a below 10%, which most of them, as you see, are at 0% or 1%. And also the quality level is high. This is exactly what we want. So what we'll do is copy each of those values, go back on the code, so as you will see, the, this package already gives us an example of how we will provide the proxy. So here we'll put the host, put here, the port, the username and the password. Perfect. Now to test this, let's find the website that tells us what our IP is. And there we go. So first of all, I have commented out the proxy usage here. So it's to give my actual IP address. There we go. By the way, don't worry, I'm using a VPN, so it will not actually use my actual IP address. And this time, let's uncomment it. And we will be using the proxy this time. So let's see. Okay, I think I probably have to provide the port as the number. Yeah, that was the issue. Okay. And there we go. So as you see, it worked just fine. And the geolocation worked perfect as well. As you see, Alabama, which is what we picked. So that's perfect. As you will see, if you want to use the Puppeteer Extra plugins, all you have to do, as you see right here, is require them here. So you'll just pass another setting here called plugins. And basically require them inside of here. So for example, you can require Puppeteer extra plugin stealth. Now using this with combination of with Puppeteer real browser, you are almost guaranteed you will pass any bot under detection. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed and you got real value from it, I'll really appreciate if you hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. And yeah, don't forget to join the prize draw from Node Maven. 
On October 10th, the winners will get an extra 5 gigabytes of bandwidth, so make sure you do it quickly. See you in the next video with that. Goodbye.